yo, all right, let's do it. Let's start. Let's start. It. Let's 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 do this. My second favorite subject, Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal Football Club. Right, there's no hiding. Opening game of the season, Arsenal are playing Brentford. Brentford at home, first game of the season. Opening game, there's always a shock result. There's always one crazy result that happens. Yeah, always a crazy result. I've got I've actually got Brentford down for a victory. I'm just toying now whether it's a 1-0 or 2-1. Because me, I don't have no faith that Arsenal are gonna do anything this season. Um anything tangible. I can't see it. Like I know a lot of you will say to me, I, I hate Arsenal hard. To be fair with you, yeah, I do, because my family members are always trying to stick it on me and Arsenal can't talk to me about anything. But they seem to still always want to chat, the Arsenal fans, they always want to, they're, they're, they've got to be the most delusional fan base in the Premier League, they've got to be, they've got to be, because they're not relevant, you know what, let, actually, let me not use this video to bash Arsenal, let's go with the game, because <laughs> I won't stop, I won't stop, right, but this game, furthermore, but this game, to me, it will go one of two ways. Either Arsenal's going to pull off some freakish result in the sense of they, they're going to absolutely smash Brentford and we're going to be thinking, right, okay. And 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 Arsenal are going to give us a, a false sense of security that they're on it. Like what they did last season when they beat Fulham 3-0 on the opening day, right? And, and, and William looked like he was going to do something for the season. You remember that? You remember last season how gassed Arsenal fans were? They beat Fulham 3-0. William was a G. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get to October now, and now the fans are crying. I predict the same foolishness <laughs> this season. Yeah, I just don't know when it's going to come. So I'm hoping it's today. I, I want Brentford to do well. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know Brentford's team outside of Ivan Tony. I don't know any of their players. I don't know. I know that they play open football, I know that they play, they play attacking football. Um, I'm hoping that they keep to that when they play today. But you, you just don't know. But what I will say is that I think Arsenal will know that they're in a game today. Arsenal should win this game. They're favourites. Um, they've got Aubameyang. To me, Aubameyang's a problem. Um, he Since he signed the contract, he ain't on it. And I've, you know, Anyway, I'm going to talk about this afterwards because I'm going to speak to you about Kane shortly right but these contracts that these players sign i don't know what the clubs i don't know what they're thinking when they sign these players sometimes when they get them to renegotiate the contracts i don't know what the clubs are i don't know what they're doing <clears throat> i'm not a football agent i'm not a, a director of a football club um, and i don't do negotiations for a football club right never have so i've got no expertise on a professional level with regards to that. But even I know that when Aubameyang was moaning last season or the season before, even I know giving him that new contract was like a kiss of death. Even I know that. They still did it. And then what we predicted was going to happen, happened anyway. Aubameyang, he's got the money and he knows the team shit and he just he's just kicking it. He's just kicking it. He's just chilling. On In the meantime, Lacazette is performing to a better standard than Aubameyang. And Arteta draws him off in every game. Draws him off, draws him off. So his body language is like, you know what? F this, man. That's a, that's You can see it. So you got one striker who, on his day, is, 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 is lethal. On his day. Yeah, he doesn't have too many of them. But I think that's down to confidence. But you've got one striker that looks hungry, like he wants to play and gets pulled off all the time. You've got another striker who looks like he wants to play Fortnite or he wants to go in hip hop videos and hang out with like the celebs and he's not on it. And you want to pick him all the time and get him in the team. And the other one is looking around funny style like, yo, every time I play, I score or I almost score. And I'm putting in the work rate and I'm doing the link-up play. And I get dragged off after 60 minutes, no matter what. 
or I, or I don't get to play until the 70th, 70th minute, 75th minute, and I come on for the last bit of dregs. But I d- and then you got Arteta. To me, Arteta don't have a clue. What I would say, do you know what? I need to do a video on that as well. Arteta is potentially the biggest finesse I've seen in the Premier League. Outside of AVB. Outside of AVB. You know what I mean? Biggest finesse. Anyway, forget that. Let me go back to the game. I'm going to do a video on that separate. I've just realised. Right, let's go with this game. I believe Arsenal are going to lose this game. I think Brentford will win it 1-0 or 2-1. I'm just not sure which one yet. But I think they're going to win the game 1-0 or 2-1. And basically... Arsenal's going to have an opening day defeat and the whole of the heavens and everything is going to come down and Arsenal going to be complaining about this game. Um, yeah, that's what I'm, you know, I'm more hoping that's what happens. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I watched Brentford a couple of times in the Championship last season and they look decent. The, the difference is now, can is the jump up, can, you, can they transition for the jump up? So, are Arsenal going to be ready for their new energy or literally are Brentford going to come in and do a Leeds and like hit them like yo you know what I mean I, I don't know but let's see let's see what happens so I'm predicting Arsenal defeat Brentford 2-1 2-1 yeah 2-1 Brentford yeah so let me know your your predictions at the bottom of the screen I'm actually going to do a prediction of the whole the whole uh, fixture list for this week as well um and just take it from there yeah so like i said a bit ring rusty but i'm i'm back man i mean i'm i'm yeah 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 i've missed chatting to you guys so all right i'm out peace